like baking? Do you like drinking? Well, I love alcohol with everything. So come and join me for two or twenty shots. Now that you're drinking with Tim, that's me. Hey, I'm shooting now. Hello and welcome to Brinking with Tin. For those of you who don't know, Brinking with Tin is where me, Tin, I bake something and I get lit off the alcohol that we're baking with. This week's alcohol of choice, after being completely <laughs> faced off whiskey on an empty stomach, I actually asked my housemate late that night what happened to all the blueberry whiskey turnovers? And he was like, don't you remember eating them all together? And I did it. So I have chosen a safer alcohol this week. And this week my alcohol is red wine. And our recipe for the week is red wine chocolate cake. As you can tell, I've already started. Actually, let me top up. Let's top up. Cheers. I've decided that I'm going to be releasing these on Thursday night to inspire you to bake and drink on the weekend. Okay, so chocolate cake. I love mix and bake cakes. I think I like cake too much that I just can't be bothered with the whole like beating the butter and sugar and the eggs and mixing the flour alternately, uh, alternate, alternately, alternately, alternately with the liquid. I mean, no one really has time for that. So I'm going to do uh, close to a mix and bake recipe. It's good. That's all you need to know. Now let's start by preheating the oven. I should have done that before I started this episode. Okay, 180 degrees. What else do I say on camera? This recipe will be in the link below. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. I know that's a lot to ask, but I appreciate it if you did that. Thank you. In this chocolate cake recipe, usually calls for boiling water and that which I have replaced with hot red wine, which I've just microwaved, in my favourite mug. Shout out to my friend Olivia's mum who got me this for Christmas when I had Christmas in London, which was cool to have a white Christmas. So I'm mixing the hot wine with the cocoa and whisking said cocoa. I'm going to put the same whisk in the bowl that I'm going to use shortly for the rest of the cake because we like to minimize the amount of washing. Also, I just hope <laughs> during isolation, I started selling baked, I started selling baked goods on Facebook Marketplace. I'm whispering because apparently it's, a this customer was meant to come at four in the afternoon. It turns out she was working and then she decides to rock up with her boyfriend at like eight o'clock at night. And then upon coming back into the house that I live in, we have a metal screen door. I had already started drinking for this episode and I walked into the screen door. And so now I have bloody knuckles. I don't know if you can see. But fortunately, I was wearing a mask, like everyone should be right now, and it protected my nose and my mouth. So I'm okay. The money maker is okay. Now, into this mixture of heated red wine and cocoa, we then add bicarb, which will then create a very exciting chemical reaction. The leavening agents in cake are activated by heat. This is one of the leavening agents. If you don't know what leavening agent means, it is the stuff that makes it rise. The bicarb into the cocoa and red wine. Oh, and it should froth up. That is the bicarb activating in front of your eyes. Then we have the other half of our cake. We have the trois eggs. I'm so French. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I have a brand new <laughs> merchandise apron. This is me modeling the apron and it is freaking with tin. And if you can't tell, the W is a wine glass. There we go. I'm one of those people that counts the calories. I just discovered this new red wine by Wolf Blast. They're not sponsoring me, obviously, because this is my second episode. I've probably got 10 views on my first episode. It's Shiraz Cabernet and it's only 320 calories a bottle! And the bottle is 8.6 standard drinks! How good is that? So, I think a face and not be worried about the calories. Cheers! This bottle is for baking and this bottle is for me to drink. And if you don't know, I'm Tim. And that ensures that I have the amount of calories that I've allotted myself for today. That said, I still have about 200 calories left in my day, so... 
I might finish the rest of the second bottle. We have the egg and we put in our oil. I actually find the best chocolate cakes usually have oil. My sister, who's actually a professional baker, go follow her on Instagram. Give and Bake Brisbane. She's been on Channel 9 and on Channel 7. And next, you get out how to use the camera. It says 9 minutes and 48 seconds. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, that should be enough time. Oh, f it's not enough time. So, we're going to do a ganache kind of glaze kind of thing moment. I'm making this up on the spot, but whatever I decide works, I will put in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and Ring that notification bell and submit your blood type, your mother's maiden name, and countries you traveled to. We're making a ganache. A ganache is equal parts chocolate and cream. I like extra chocolate. In Australia, this is the POV brand of cream. You're welcome, Woolworths. Cadbury also has not sponsored this video yet. So we have 350 grams of Cadbury. Breaking it up. When people hear the word ganache, they usually freak out. Mmm. Oh, so good. <laughs> I can't do so much better than Lynch. People usually freak out because I think it's because it's French. The amount of people that I've had tell me the recipe that I'm scared most of is creme brulee. I'm like, bitch, do you know how easy creme brulee Oh, there's more chocolate in there still. Bitch, do you know how easy creme brulee is? I think it's a whole thing with like souffle. Like, people think it's difficult just because it's got a French name, but like, Coquevan has the word in it. That can't be that difficult. So we're going to microwave this in intervals of 30 seconds. Oh, that's right. I'm going to add some wine into it. BWT wine, not the tin wine. I have no idea how this is going to end up. But let's see. <coughs> I got too excited. Did I say stirring at intervals of 30 seconds? I think I did. Okay, the ganache is not looking too good, but here's hoping. So I have this habit where I put eggshells back into the carton and I did it on a date once. And he was like, is that some Asian tradition? Oh my god, it's actually working. Remember what, everyone? Every 30 seconds, you stir. This is my microwave! So the reason why I do it in a rectangular Pyrex bowl is because it gives the most like surface area when we put it into the freezer because I'm shooting this very soon before my bedtime and I need it to chill as soon as possible. Oh! oh it tastes good. So once it gets warm, even if it's still a bit lumpy, you can usually just Keep stirring it and eventually all the chocolate will soften. Ooh, I had some truffles I want to chuck in as well. If you have any random chocolates in your fridge that you're apparently not getting rid of, which I'm not, let's chuck it in now. Let's chuck those in there. I don't know, are there people out there that like chocolate isn't their thing? Chocolate's not really my thing. I'm more of like cakes and oh, scones. Scones is where the party's at. These cognac truffles aren't melting as fast as I want them to. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Oh, and the holy trinity. Salt, vanilla, and coffee. But don't put too much coffee, otherwise it becomes mocha and like, that's lame. Guys, don't get mockers. Who the hell gets mockers in 2020? Wow, 23, 22 seconds. Okay, whisking until it's all smooth. And then we put it into the fridge and then we wait until the cake's face. Yeah! Do you like baking? Do you like drinking? Well, I love wine, I love wine, I love wine. Okay, so if you can't see, I finished this empty. And now we're on to the Brinking with Tin bottle. Cheers! We have our ganache, ready to rumble. Here's my housemate, Mitch Lagos. This is Mitch, a big inspiration as to why it started. Go follow him. Mitch Lagos TV. On all Not TV. Gross. No, no, no. Okay, so on YouTube, Mitch Lagos. Now, on TikTok, most importantly. Same thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. It's Mitch Lagos. It's just my name. 
M A M I, not A. M I T C H M, not M. M I T C. How drunk are you? Just <laughs> say a <laughs> handle, okay? Why did you have five M's in your handle? <laughs> I see the tin bottle is empty. <laughs> What's your handle? Just say oh, handle, yeah, like get out of my. It's Mitch Lagos. L A G O S. I've been chilling the cake. Chilling the cake. Here we go. I've been talking about whether I'm going to split this into two, but I think I'm gonna do it. Mitch, do you want me? Do you want me to split the cake into two? Should I fill the cake with ganache? Oh, you should totally fill the cake with ganache. I'm gonna fill the cake with ganache. We have a serrated knife. Some people don't know what serrated means. It has these bumps on it. Okay. Maybe one day I'll create a video about how to like split a cake. If you don't want to bother splitting a cake, just like pour the glaze over. The cake inside is still so warm. A little bit on the inside. While I was on a break, I was watching Rhythm and Flow on Netflix. Does anyone else watch that? I love Cardi B so much. If I had to choose between Cardi B and um, Nicki Minaj, I'm probably still choosing Nicki. Okay, picked up that. Go! Just plop it on. So, to be honest, once all this gets cold, it actually all just sets by itself anyway. So like, you don't really need to like make too much of an effort of it being perfect. Yes! Oh my god, my cake is breaking. Use some good nash to glue it together. Good. Holy sh**, that's coloring. We need some drinking with tin wine. You know what make this sh** good. Always sprinkle with salt. It is so f***ing good. There we go. Cheers to drinking with tin. Love alcohol with everything. So come and join me for two or twenty shots. Now that you're drinking with tin. That's me.